Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is CJ. Um, I got two things from Amazon and um, they came in to get, to get, can't talk, today together, which was really surprising because I was actually supposed to get one of the packages tomorrow. So thank you Amazon for being able to get one of my, pack one of my packages here. Um, well, one of them on time and the other one early. Really appreciate it. Um, I want to share the items that I got. And, um, and so yeah, but, um, this is really, really random, but I want to put this out there. For those of you who love using coconut oil, um, specifically the extra virgin cold pressed coconut oil, make sure that if that's something that you love and you make sure, and you're like me that tends to rush sometimes, you're at the grocery store with the kids and you're trying to get yourself and the kids out of the grocery store on time, make sure that you read the labels, okay, because this is the coconut oil that I usually get and I love this. It's um, organic, it's extra virgin, and it's cold pressed. And um, what I love about this is that I love the texture of this oil and I also love the soft smell that it gives. Um, it's just really relaxing and it smells just really nice. I love using it on my hair, on my body, and on my kids as well. Um, instead of using lotions after we get out the shower or um, any type of moisturizer after we wash your face, we use coconut oil or a mixture with coconut oil in it. Um, but yeah, I went to Walmart to get this, but they were completely out, and so I accidentally got this oil, um, this coconut oil, and it's great. Um, it's organic, but it's not cold pressed, and um, I did not realize that. I didn't think to look, um, read the information on the back, so make sure you do that. Um, what I plan to do is I actually plan to cook with this and to oil rinse. Um, if you don't know what oil, or not oil, what I'm going to talk about, oil pulling, if you don't know what oil pulling is, I will leave a link um, in the description box below so you guys can check out what oil pulling is. Um, but this is the, um, this is the jar I ended up getting. Um, it is extra virgin coconut oil and it's cold pressed extra virgin coconut oil. Um, I got this one for I think around 15 bucks, which is a little more than what I wanted, um, but, um, I get a little more in here versus um, this, um, so you know, yeah. So just be careful. Don't make the same mistake I did. If you don't want to use extra virgin or you can't afford it or you, for whatever reason, if you just use coconut oil, period, coconut oil, period, will work. Um, again, I just I really wanted the cold press version because of the scent, and I just love the texture and how it makes how it makes my skin feel. Because to me, I can feel a difference. So. But anyways. On to the items that I got. Now, the first one I'm going to show you guys, I already opened it up and tried it out, so I'm going to show this to you first. Um, this is the um, the Shea Trader Ivory Shea Butter, and it's um, pure, raw, and unrefined, um, which is absolutely perfect. Um, instead of getting the gold version, I got the ivory version. I might need to take a break because I hear my son coming around the corner, and he doesn't sound very happy. But yes, here is what the inside looks like. And yeah, there he is. Hey, buddy. What's up? Give me a second. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm back. Um, the life of mamahood, I'm telling you. So yes, this is the shea butter that I got. Um, I have used shea butter. <laughs> can't talk. Shea butter, both the um, gold version and the ivory version before. Just not this brand. So if you've tried this brand before, let me know. Let me know what y'all think. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, I already tried a little bit on my skin. Um, I During the fall and winter, my eczema just gets out of control. Like the spring and the summer, my eczema, eczema is almost non-existent. Um, but once it starts to cool down and the weather changes for the fall and the winter, my eczema acts up really bad. And this is like the only thing, like shea butter is the only thing that really soothes my skin and calms the flare-ups down. Like I had it really bad on my hands and I put some on um, before I left to go pick up my babies and um, my hands feel so, so much better. Um, I actually plan on using this to make my body butter and hopefully I'll be able to get a video done. Um, I know I'm not going to be able to do it today, but maybe tomorrow, maybe I will say, we'll see what's going on with the kids, but um, I definitely am going to be using this for my body butter. But here's what I'm really excited about, you guys. Besides the shea butter. 
I have this package in my hand and this here um, is something I'm really really excited about. I didn't I not only got this for myself but in here is um, a couple of things for my girls as well. Um, I have locks and I am continually continually trying to find different hats, different scarves and um, just things to help keep my hands out of my hair plus it's getting cooler outside and so I'm, I'm I want to protect my hair and protect my ears and whatnot. And um, long story short, I found this woman on YouTube who has a um, Etsy account, and I went to her shop and fell in love with a whole bunch of stuff um, that I want to get, and I do plan on getting in the future. It's just that right now I cannot afford um, to spend eleven to twelve to fifteen dollars on a lock sock. Um, I went shopping around um, both on her on her site and and others. Once I'm able to splurge on getting um, some lock socks from her store, I will do so, and I will come back here and share um, my purchases with my purchases with you guys because I I actually favorited um, a whole bunch of stuff in her shop, and I do plan on getting it. It's just that right now I can't. So um, anyway, so I was I was in the bind because I wanted to get lock socks, but lock socks can run expensive. Now I did make a few of my own. Um, but I also wanted to get some pre-made ones as well. Well, I went to the Dollar Tree and I found a, um, what is it? A seamless bandana. And I had no idea they existed. I really didn't know what they were. Um, but I picked it up from the Dollar Tree and I tried it out at home. And it works for me as the perfect, um, on the budget lock sock. And so that's what I did on Amazon. I actually picked up, um, a packet of six, I believe, for like ten bucks. Um, so I'm going to open this up so you guys can see. Um, so if you are someone like myself who wants lock socks for your own hair, or if you have locks or not and you just don't have the budget to spend that $12 or $13 on one lock sock and you want to kind of stretch out your money a little bit to get more for your buck, um, try Amazon. You never know what you'll find. Alright, so here is what the package looks like before I open it up. It came straight from here. And um, this is what the package looks like. Okay. Now there is... Oh, this is not as pink as I thought it was going to be. I'm not a really big pink person, but it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I might keep that to rock for my mama. Alright, so they have black which is what I really wanted because I can pair this up with anything they have this blue which is probably going to go to my daughter because she's all about blue and so I'm, I'm going to try not to fall in love with it too much because I know it's going to be gone um, this tan which is probably going to be mine it's a little close to my skin tone too so I don't know if it's going to make me look bald or not but we'll see um, here's green which I love like this, this really deep forest like army type green which is going to be mine um, white here, which I'm not too crazy about white, but hey, I can make it work with whatever I got going on in my closet. And this pink, which I would rock, but I'm pretty sure that my other daughter is going to take it. So I am going to try on, I don't know, what should I try on? I'll try on the green one, since it's, I mean, I don't, it doesn't match with what I'm wearing, but I don't care. This is what it looks like out of the package. It's kind of thin, actually. Ooh, I like that, though. It's very stretchy. And you can wear this so many different ways. Okay, so under my hat here. By the way, I loomed this hat. It's one, one of the first loomed hats that I've made for myself. And it makes my ears feel so warm and fuzzy. You know, you guys know this video is going to be long, okay? Um... Alright, so whenever I wear any type of hat or um, seamless bandana or head wrap, I always wear this underneath to protect my hair from anything that's going to be drying like this or um, to protect my stuff from oil that may still be on my head. So there are so many ways you can wear a seamless... Oops, this is really cute. Just wearing it like that. Um, there are so many ways you can wear a seamless um, head uh, seamless bandana um, where I like to to me it's another type of lock sock in my honest opinion but anyways you can wear it like this you can wear it like this 
which is perfect because <laughs> I mow my grass. Like, I mow the front and the back. Um, my husband and I, we tag team. He'll get the bushes, I'll get the grass, or we'll do vice versa. So I might do it like this. This is great. Another way you could wear it is this way. Um, how I would wear it. You can wear it as a headband like this. You can wear it. Oh, this is really cute. It's really comfortable and like really, really light. That's what I like about this. It's really, really light. Um, someone said online this would be really, really great for sweat. This is a really light material. If you're a really, really heavy sweater, um, this probably won't be for you in my opinion. I actually read on the review from the shop that I bought this at that it didn't do well with sweat. Um, but that's not why I'm getting it. I'm getting it because I want to cover my locks. Because it's cold outside. And I want to look cute with other stuff to keep my hands out of my hair. Um, but yeah, this is how I would normally wear my lock sock. Um, really, really cute. I'm going to see if I can try... I would do black, but... Like, I want you guys to see. I'll do white. Let's do white. Okay, now... My tiff about this is that the ends right here aren't necessarily finished. So it's really stretchy and that's great, but this better not start like ripping or we're going to have some issues. Is that the same thing on this one? It looks like it. I just wish the ends were finished, but whatever. Alright, let me see. Let me bring my hair to life real fast. See if I can do like a little, you can also make this into a ponytail type situation. Okay, so this is how you can have your hair, you can have it down like this, or you can have it back to where it's pulling some of your hair back. My locks are really short, so I can't really bring anything up. But if you want to, like, bring this up, you can do that as well. So there's just, like, your options for these things. Excuse my hat or my scarf head or my hat head. You know. There are so many things that you can do with these. But, again, like, the main thing that I would do... Especially right now since it is like since it is getting pretty chilly. Now I do have um, a white um, like cap. So I, if I were to wear this, I'd probably wear the white cap underneath. That way you won't see the black through the white because this is sheer. But yeah, this is great. I love it. I like how light this is. And there's so many, you have so many options. Some people even wear it as, you know, as this. I mean, I wouldn't, but some people do. Um, there's also um, demonstrations on how you can wear this as well. So um, I got a packet of six again for like 10 bucks. Not bad. Um, shipping was on point. And yeah, this that's pretty much it. I already got makeup on my stuff, y'all. Dang, it's okay. Nothing that some water and soap can't fix. But yeah, that this is what these lock socks look like. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try the brown one real fast so you guys can see this one too. And then I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna do the black because you can hardly see. I'm trying to like show you colors that y'all can see. And I'm trying not to get makeup on this stuff already. Especially, oh, I have white. I'm going to keep white. And me and white don't get along because I get white dirty so fast. There you go. 
Actually, this is not bad. Okay, so I'm... Okay, not bad. So yeah, that's what I would do. I'll do this. Not bad. Alright. <laughs> um, I've tried on my three that I'm going to keep. Um, I'm going to save the fourth one for after I get off the video because it's already 15 minutes in. But yeah, um, I got six of these to help me to stay out of my hair. And um, I'm really, I'm, you know, for 10 bucks, um, this packet so far, or this package, I'm pretty doggone impressed. Um, I love how stretchy these are and how thin they are so my scalp and my hair can breathe. And, um, yeah, I'm going to have a mini um, photo session right now and get off this camera because I've been talking way too long. Um, if you guys have any questions about anything that I um, discussed in this video, please leave those questions in the comment section below. Um, and, yeah, um, if you want to look up if you want to look these up, um, just look up Seamless Bandanas. I got mine on Amazon. They have them not only in solids, but they have them in different um, designs as well. I just wanted to have solids because I just I didn't want to have a whole bunch of stuff. Like I just wanted to have plain colors. That way my plain colors could match with everything else that I have going on. But anyways, I'm already 16, almost 17 minutes and Be blessed. Have a great day. And I will talk to you guys in the next update. Bye, guys.